Welcome to Pastor's Chat. Where do you find hope in a hopeless world? Where do you look? Where do you go to find that hope? Boy, so many people today, maybe even you, as you're watching this Pastor's Chat or listening to it on the podcast, feel like there's nothing to look forward to in life. I have nothing to live for. I feel so hopeless. Well, my friend, we have a God who gives us hope. I want to introduce you to him. He is the God of the Bible. We've been studying Romans chapter 14 and 15, where Paul is asking us to work as best we can by the glory of God, the grace of God, for harmony, for unity in the church, despite our differences, despite our preferences on uh, different things, especially when it comes to our Christian experience, we can have harmony, we can have unity. Let me again go to these verses. I just think they need to be repeated over and over again because the greatest detriment to the gospel of Jesus Christ being listened to and accepted by a lost, unbelieving, hopeless world is believers who are not getting along with each other. And so Paul's really taking a lot of time with this in 14 and 15. He says, as God has welcomed you, as Christ has welcomed you, welcome one another, receive one another. Welcome means, uh, matter of fact, I was just thinking how in front of most of the homes I've ever lived in, we have a welcome mat. So when you walk up to the door, there's a little mat that says welcome. It means you are wanted here. You are accepted here. You will be loved here. You will be encouraged here. Welcome. God welcomes you. We should welcome one another. We should make people feel accepted and loved. One of the best things you can do for every individual, from the youngest child to the oldest person, is to give them value. You give them value because you listen to them. You give them time. You pay attention to their hurts, their pains, their needs. You listen to their heart. You listen carefully. And when you do that, they sense that they're accepted. Oh, may God help us all to do that. I know I struggle with being selfish. And that's why he starts 15 out. We're not to please ourselves. But as God did not please himself in the sense that he gave his own son and Christ did not please himself, it says, he gave himself for us. And so where do you find hope? Where do you find hope? And so he's talking in verse 4 of chapter 15, For whatever was written in former days was written for our instruction, that through encouragement and through the encouragement of the Scriptures, we might have hope. May the God of endurance and encouragement grant you to live in such harmony with one another in accord with Jesus Christ, that together you may with one voice glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. With one voice you may glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. In 2 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 3, after Paul wrote a scathing letter, 1 Corinthians to the Corinthians, in 2 Corinthians he begins, Blessed be God, the Father, the God of mercies, the Father of mercies, the God of all comfort, the God of all comfort. Our God is a God of all comfort. He comes alongside to help us. He's a God of encouragement. He is a God who gives us hope. And where do we find that? patience and endurance and hope from God, we find it in the scriptures and the Old Testament, in the Bible. Actually, now for you and me, from cover to cover. Yes, that's why I encourage you, read the Old Testament. That's what Paul was talking about here in uh, Romans chapter 15, the encouragement of the scriptures. Yes, when you read the scriptures, you see how God is always at work. God is never left behind. I wish we, I wish we had time to talk about all the things that God was doing behind the scenes and like sending a Joseph down to Egypt way in preparation for a famine that would come. God's always at work. He is the God of hope. Today, read the Old Testament scriptures. Be encouraged. Have hope in God. And I believe you find that hope in His Son, Jesus Christ, who saves us and has mercy on us. May God help and bless us today as we trust Him. 
Have a wonderful, wonderful day.